Francis Ngannou killed a guy. Uh, 20 seconds into the fight, Jarzinho Rosenstrike left consciousness. Uh, he was the plus 225 underdog coming off a last couple second win in a fight he was losing versus Alistair Overeem. Uh, for, go ahead. I said he was going to die. Nah, you did say he was going to die. If anyone goes back to our... We're, there's been a couple stitchbacks to our last episode, especially a little bit upcoming. Go back to our show. Mike Mike definitely said that uh, Rosenstruck was going to die, and he died. The ref was ho- literally holding up his lifeless corpse it was against seriously, the fence. It was seriously crazy, bro. I, I, it, 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 what, they weren't even like crisp punches. They weren't. They did not matter if they landed perfectly. They just mattered if they landed somewhere. And, dude, he straight... He straight hillbilly clubbed a man, dude. Well, dude, Rosenstrike, he barked up the wrong tree. There was he so much is. pent-up aggression and rage for Francis Ngannou not being able to get a fight for the last, like, eight, nine months. He just unleashed it all in a 20-second spurt over over that man's face. He's going to have nightmares for a long time. Oh, dude, I'm not even, like, that was rough enough. I, this was a dude that had 60 kickboxing fights, looked great in MMA, and got utterly waylaid. I'm not sure he could step back into the cage again it was that bad. No, he's dead. In terms of this show, he's dead, and I'm not. I'm. I'm. This is how much we're taking this. If he ever fights again, we're gonna refer to him as the ghost of Rosenstrike, because th- there's just, there's just no way around. It. <laughs> there's there's no way around it. Like this, he was dead. The ghost of Christmas past, but it's Rosenstrike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christmas way past, man. Oh man, I, f- I feel so bad for him because it was. <laughs> he did technically. He did everything right as um, Ningano was coming in. He was still throwing his strikes as he backed up. He threw the kick. But Ningano, that combination of speed and power, I saw, dude, I can't get the image out of my head. Not of him landing the punches, not even him against nodding back against the cage, but like it's almost like the force of the punches were keeping him sitting up against the cage and the ref literally holding him by the shoulder and the head to keep him from, I don't know if it was teetering over or just like descending into the underworld i i don't know have you but. seen have you seen the viral uh video of like the slapping competitions where the guys slap each other so hard they get knocked out i saw, I saw one today it was, a, okay, it was well, a snippet of a huge dude versus like a, a tattooed scrawny dude with blonde yeah, hair or something supposedly that, that scrawny dude was like a champion or something but he dude that guy's soul left just like rose and strikes did Dude, I, I don't know. I feel bad for Rosenstrike's family. So, I mean, condolences, thoughts and prayers going out to Rosenstrike's family. Um, so, again, yeah, remember that. In the future, we will refer to him as the ghost of Rosenstrike if he ever comes back. We're taking away his last name because it's too cool of a last name for a guy that just got, like, demolished that bad. He's going to be the ghost of Jarzinho, and no one will remember what that is because no one knows him. And no one will know him because he's dead now. Um, either way, Ning- uh, Ninganu, um should get a title fight off this, although the heavyweight division is kind of messed up with where Stipe is. I mean, kudos to him, and he is a first responder with where he lives uh, in like the Cleveland suburb area, and his gym is closed. He can't train. DC wants him to fight regardless. UFC wants to fight him regard- fight regardless. I get all of those reasons, but he actually has a very multiple very good reasons for not fighting. Uh, DC has postponed retirement multiple times to try to get this fight. Ngannou's just waiting in the wings, man, to fight fight somebody, fight anybody. And honestly, there's no one at heavyweight for him to fight the, of a fight that people want to see. Because I know there's probably someone on Twitter at this moment of listening to this, once you hear the sound of my voice, feverishly tweeting that he should fight Derek Lewis. No, we're just stopping that right now. I never want to see that again. No one wants to see it again. The next best person in the division is Blades, and he beat him twice. The first one was close. It was a doctor stoppage, and that, like, way early on, just the swelling by the eye called it. Second one, man, he hurt him bad, and he was out. So, Ngano needs a title shot. I, I, I don't know. So, they, they got to figure that out. I'm fine with it being interim. People are getting so angry with interim belts. Normally, I get angry with them, too, because it seems like whenever a fighter doesn't fight for four months, there's an interim. But... If there's no date for Stipe to come back, give him an interim title. I, I don't care at this point. If anything, heavyweight's been like one of the longer times since we've had an interim title. Just give it to him. Don't care. Um, f- or have him fight a big name. Like Rumble wants to come back. Rumble said he weighs 238, I think, is what he just said. Uh, today he posted. Have them fight. Go team. That's an amazing fight. Both of them would take that fight. Make it for an interim. I'm game. Let's do it. Mike, any follow-up? talks about the ghost of Jorginho or Frankie Murder or anything like that before we move on. 
No, nah, man, it's uh, said and done. Nagan- Nganu is the man, dude. He's got so much power. I, I want to see him fight uh, Stipe one more time. Yeah, man, I, I love me some Stipe. He's, he's my Midwest champ, but you know what? If uh, he fights uh, Francis Ngannou again, I don't like his chances. Literally the only heavyweight I give a chance to beating Ngannou at this point is DC, just because I think he'll be a lot more relentless with takedowns, and he won't take those chances. But I don't know if we'll ever see that fight. If you like this clip, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you. Let's roll.